thank you very much for joining us today. You're more than welcome. Tell us about some of the things that you're doing that, that are working with other operators, not just within your own invite. Of course. In the last four years, uh, in Turkey, as Tripsel, as we call the world's first digital operator, we have been able to transform our business model and rethink the game we're playing, rethink the value proposition to the, to the customers and market, and stop thinking of our business as being a technology-focused telecommunication company, but instead a company that's focused on the services and provide experiences. Being the digital operator we are, in other words, being the licensed operator we are at the same time, we, are, we were able to differentiate these services technologically, also from an experience standpoint, and provide customers um, distinguished, uh, differentiated experiences. Of course, in doing all of this, the digital operator means uh, one side is digital, the other side is operator. So you would still think that licensed operator, the technology, the infrastructure, of course, matters here. And I would like to thank Huawei, our strategic partner, especially in TV Plus business, mm -hmm. which provides uh, the cloud-based platform for our uh, digital TV and video on demand service. And, and, and that is sort of the, the irony. You're working in, with, with uh, services that are not, not technology in the sense that you're marketing them to the consumers, but they require technology as a platform so that you can create these services. Of course. The vendor relationship then is another partnership that you have, uh, that you have to have to be able to work of successfully course. to launch it. Of course. Um, in the old days, a typical telco, when they develop services of the kind that I'm mentioning, they would say, I provide my customers with 10,000 minutes of voice, 10 gigabytes of internet, and there are some services. We shifted that mindset we said that there are services. The things that the experiences the consumers or business customers want to have. What that means is, well, time. Uh, there are 20, there's 24 hours in a day that's equally distributed to all of us, fairly equally. <laughs> fairly equally. That makes 1,440 minutes. And as an operator in the past, we used to have a 32 minutes on average relationship with a typical and average customer. Now, through the digital experiences, the, game, the, the objective is to provide experiences so the customers stay on our platforms more, spend more time because they like to. And in, in the last four years, we have been able to go from 32 minutes so now, what, nowadays, uh, a total of probably 240 minutes, something like that on, in a day. But here, to your question about the infrastructure and the technology, of course, how will you compete? How do these services compete? Of course, number one, the experience itself, the, the digital service itself needs to be remarkable in terms of the experience. But also, it needs to be differentiated. And that differentiation comes from in our case, and our do 1440 strategy, because we are a licensed operator with a great infrastructure, with great vendors like Huawei, with great strategic relationships, we were able to build in all those bells and whistles, all those functions and features in our digital services that only a licensed operator can. The closer we get to 5G, that's also something that you have to build into your, to your planning, right? So what are you looking at down the road in terms of, uh, of how you provision for greater success, I suppose? Of course, 5G is around the corner. Uh, we are so much excited at Turkcell uh, and Lifestyle Digital about all kinds of new opportunities that will come with uh, 5G. I think we're going to be looking at uh, all kinds of new possibilities, all kinds of new areas for digital innovation in the form of services. One very particular and important area is going to be uh, IoT, Internet of Things. We call it smart places, or they're in the work environment, in their office. Uh, if this is an agricultural country, places are now getting smarter with the things in them getting connected to the Internet which creates all kinds of new interactions between people and places, between people and smartphones and the things. 
that means there's going to be a lot of new uh, value chains. That means a lot more room for innovation, for digital services. And we're so much looking forward for that future. And we are lucky to have Huawei as a strategic partner in expanding our network and preparing it for the future. Thank you very much for your time today. It was, a, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.